A promising start to Idaho's water year has quickly unraveled. Got three months of exceptionally dry conditions pushed parts of the state into what could be considered a significant water shortage by August and September. Jude Binkley joins us live from the Boise River with a look at how fast the tide can turn. Jude. Yeah, Hunter Morgan, back in April, water managers were feeling confident about the state's water supply, but as we've learned in Idaho, when it comes to water, things can change fast. Dry conditions have completely rewritten the forecast, and now some farmers and water users could be facing tough decisions by late summer. A solid snowpack and reservoir carryover had hydrologists riding a wave of optimism for this water year. We entered this year thinking we were in pretty good shape. But Mother Nature had other plans, with the past three months drying up that hope and much of the state now facing drought conditions. This is the fifth driest. April through June period in the record going back to 1895. State hydrologist David Hokema says the state had only 56% of normal precipitation from April through June, leaving much of the state high and dry. It's a pretty dramatic turn, but we're not coming out of one drought year into the next. So we had pretty decent reservoir carryover. So we don't expect dramatic shortages in the in most of southern Idaho. There are a few reservoirs like the Snake River system, the state's largest, which is going through a rapid drawdown due to dry conditions. So we're starting with a system that's not full and then drying it down. We're expecting to have some water shortages toward the end of the year in the snake. Water officials are now predicting potential shortages in the Snake River system by August or September. I'd really encourage water users who are relying on storage water, stretch that water as far as you can go. The Boise Payette and Owyhee Reservoir systems are in better shape thanks to stronger carryover from last year, but it's likely they won't have as much water carryover for next year, meaning the region would need an above average season. Now, Morgan Hunter, a lot of this is ultimately dependent on how much rain we get in the future. For example, Idaho was in a very similar situation in 2022 until storms that September helped really get that water supply back up. Yeah, I was going to say measuring the snowpack, everyone said cautiously optimistic, mm -hmm. and this is why. Thank you, Jude.